healthcare workers. Crisis response. I gotta find another route. Is the true test of a hot shot. <laughs> My shortcut just became a shortcut. No, 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 no. I made it to Yellowknife. People are relying on me to help out in this situation. I really miss the family right now. Yeah, you're, you're having a bit of a tough go up there. Can't see anything. From what I'm seeing, I think you need to come home. Family's the most important thing. Foods in the hampers. Who knows how long this pandemic's gonna last? I've been building my karma bank up. <laughs> Step in the cop. Ah. Canada's remote interior is home to a different breed of trucker. Hot shotting vital cargo to impossible locations. Keeping remote businesses running. Making their living on the back roads. In White Lake, BC. Dave here, just one sec, I gotta pull over here. Dave Schwann's phone has been ringing off the hook due to the COVID-19 pandemic. Mr. So, Auto, Dave here, can I help you? Hey. Uh, can you do a delivery to Invermere? Uh, what kind of delivery? What are we carrying? Yeah, since COVID, a bunch of us distilleries have started making hand sanitizer. I got caps I need taken to one place, then I got a bunch of cases that gotta be delivered down through the Kootenays. Oh, we got a two-day rounder. Yeah, it's a full two days. <laughs> um... If you're too busy, I can call somebody else. No, 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 no. We'll make this happen. We got a pandemic going on. There is a lot of pressure as a business owner to keep things rolling. So if you're not quick, you're not gonna succeed. Yeah, just text me the address and we'll go from there. Will do. Thank you, sir. There's a money maker. How the f I'm gonna do it, I don't know. This is a really good gig. I just don't have time to do it myself. I got an idea though. I don't wanna do this, but she's the only one I can think of that can get the job done quick, fast, and in a hurry. Good morning, Dave. Yeah. We've got a serious job. We have a delivery to Invermere. Okay. And then from Invermere, you're heading to the Kootenays. So it's get in, get gone, and go. Can you pull this off? Because yeah. I got no time to mess around here. This could be something that they phoned Donnie on, right? And I don't want Donnie getting no piece of this little bit of bacon, no. right? The last time Dave hired Angela to do a hot shot. Hello? Dave ain't getting that job. Guaranteed. Big Donnie scooped both the job and Angela by offering her a higher rate. I'll take it. I bet you will. Angela is looking for more work, and this is her chance to prove her worth. I will make this happen. Thank you. Okay, see ya. I believe everybody deserves a second chance. So I'm hoping Ange can pull this job off, because if it goes sideways, that's on me. This better f happen. Gotta make hay while the sun shines. <laughs> Hell yeah! This is gonna be a long road trip for Woody. Angela's first stop on her two-day mission is to pick up bottle caps and other supplies needed to produce hand sanitizer. I got a deadline and I gotta make Dave happy. I'm still the new guy, he's testing me. I think it's great what this distillery is doing, trying to chip in and help out. It makes you feel good about what you're doing. <laughs> Jesus Christ, that was a close call. Somebody decided to turn left at the last second, so we had to make a quick stop. And this truck likes to kick sideways when it does that. Might be a flat spot or two on the tires, but what can you do? Let's go, let's go, let's go. I'm waiting to see some animals. I'm afraid my truck might scare them off. Barreling up the Mackenzie Highway. <laughs> I haven't even made it to the ice roads yet. Dale Christensen is on his way to Canada's Northwest Territories. I'm worried about the state of the world right now with the coronavirus. I just don't know how far it's gonna go. So Big Donnie sent us out because these people need help. Quarantines and panic have led to a shortage of supplies and drivers getting to the north. Very scary times. I got a wife and kid at home. For all little people and all suffer from lung issues, asthma. Plus, my wife works at a long-term care facility, so it really scares me how fast it could be brought home. Come on, Betsy. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh. I didn't 
Didn't feel too good on the back. Signs of life up here. Holy s***. I made it to Yellowknife. End of one journey, beginning of another. Nobody's around town. Really weird. After an 1800 kilometer journey from Barrier, BC, and three straight days on the road, Dale has finally arrived at his Yellowknife Hotel. I made it. I am tired. But before he gets to work, he checks in with home. Hey. Hey, babe. How's it going? You're out of the truck. You must be settled in a hotel. It's pretty weird around here. The streets are empty. How are you? Doing good. At Grandma's, I've got him staying there for this week. I had a bit of a scare. One of my residents actually wound up coughing on my face. And I figured out he had a high fever. Luckily, his results came back today. I got a message from my work that just said he's negative. That scares me. I miss you, babe. I really miss you, too. I love you. I love you, too. I'll see you later, OK? You, too. Bye-bye. Okay. I miss her. I'm so worried that my family will get infected with this virus. Okay. That should be right up here. This looks like it. Across town. What? Oh, yeah. Craig has also arrived in Yellowknife and is starting his first hotshot mission. Got to yell and and it's freezing, man. It's just like off the wall bonkers. Perfect. We gotta drop off a starter right now for a big ass truck to some sand pit, I think. Road maintenance place. Parts are a bitch to get here. The shortage of drivers has caused delays, preventing the local road crew from keeping their trucks running. It's definitely an opportunity for me and Dale to go help because uh, who knows how long this pandemic's gonna last. We're just gonna power through this and get her done. On the other side of town, Dale's already swamped with requests for help. Hello, Matthew. This is Dale Christensen. I'm doing a delivery for you guys. Oh, awesome. He's volunteered to deliver supplies to desperate families under lockdown due to the pandemic. Thank you so much. All right. Yeah. Dale has 30 hampers to deliver. Not gonna make money on this trip, but my conscience says I should do this. On to the next one. Dale's next delivery is to the small town of Tetda. During the winter months, an ice road provides a shortcut that cuts travel time to a quarter of what it is in the summer. Crossed for centuries with sled dogs by the indigenous Dene people, today the Great Slave Lake Ice Road is machine groomed. The sun's pretty bright. It's making the ice road pretty polished. Can't see anything, it's too bright. Oh. Oh. Wicked. Oh. Hitting the snowbank did something to my back. Oh. Feels like the day after my surgery. For two years, Dale's been recovering from a surgery that attached metal rods to his spine. That's gonna hurt tonight. Oh. Anybody out there for help? Greg, you out there? Anybody at all? Anybody out there for help? Greg, you out there? On the Tetda Ice Road in the Northwest Territories. Yeah. What's up? Dale is in trouble. The sun was blinding. Uh, yeah. So to put her into the snowbank. Into the snowbank? <laughs> I'm just at the beginning of the ice road there. OK, I'm on my way. I'm trying to get there as fast as I can. But this road sucks. It's definitely a cop. Ah. I imagine he's running my plate right now. I've been in jail a bunch of times. Oh, I'm doing the speed limit. Did a bunch of crazy when I was young. Now I'm older. So now I'm just doing my best to try to figure it out and not get in trouble. Maybe it's not, no, maybe it's not a cop. 
That is the last thing I need right now. Oh, oh shit, what's going on? Alright. Yeah. See you later, alligator. The cops didn't pull us over because we've been building up our karma bag for all the done in my life. Or you're just busy and I didn't want to fuck with me. <laughs> so. Bill! <laughs> I see him. I see why he's wiped out. Oh my god. Scale of brightness, 1 to 10, it's about a 30. Unbelievable. I can't believe I'd ever be happy to see Craig. Think you can get me out of here? I'm afraid if I get out here, I might sink out of sight. All right, let's see what we got. That sun just caught me right off guard. <laughs> Me and Dale got off on a rocky start, but uh, he's a good guy and I don't mind helping him out. Woo hoo hoo! And back up to my truck. There's no other way to get it on there. The last time Craig and Dale were up north together. Believe me, I've been towing a lot longer than you. Shut up, Dale. You figure it out. Craig stormed off and left Dale to finish the remaining jobs. Don't just f off and leave everybody. No, I can't trust you. You're on thin ice. And Big Donnie ordered Craig to be a team player if he wants to keep his job. Be gentle. stuck in there, eh? I just did pain right now. Oh. OK, here comes another one. Gentle. Oh. That worked, eh? Feels like I got hit by a truck. It's a little violent. Come on, big boy in the snowy mountains above Invermere, BC. Come on, Woody. Angela's made her first pickup and is racing towards her destination with a load of desperately needed supplies. We gotta get these bottle caps to the distillery, so even if it does get western, we still gotta get there. Doctors, nurses, EMTs, they all need this hand sanitizer. My priority is to get this shipment to where it needs to go. Holy <laughs> Don't have very much weight in here, so... Of course, traction's gonna be a factor. Take it easy, nice and easy. Oh, Come on! We're getting a little greasy here. Whoa, 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 whoa! Okay, you've told me all you need to, Woody. I will put you in four by four, okay? Let's do the other side first. Locked. Oh, that's not good. It's not good at all. The sudden braking from Angela's earlier close call damaged her tires. I got a nasty gash all the way around my sidewall, and it looks Angela has made it safely back to the main road. The destination is close. Hello guys, how's it going? Oh, look at the baby. And soon arrives at her first drop-off location. All right, all right, all right. Whew, that was a long journey. Beautiful day for a delivery. Oh, how you here? Hey, am I your favorite person to see today? Oh, you are. You've got my caps, I'm guessing. Holy shit, you got a lot of bottles there. We've been waiting for these. Everybody is chasing after sanitizer at the moment. This has been restricting us from getting out about 5,000 litres worth of product. So, yeah, you're a saviour today. Well, I'm glad to help you guys. Awesome. Good to go. Golden! Angela's first delivery is complete. Definitely going to have to keep an eye on my tires. I know it says don't go in this way, but I'm doing it anyway. Yeah, my tire a little looky loop. But with a 130-kilometer drive to her next stop in Cranbrook... Yeah, this is not good. This isn't safe. Probably won't get any better. So I better hustle up. Make a mile. 
Angela has no choice but to replace her tire immediately, putting the rest of her mission in jeopardy. Very disappointing, but if I don't take care of it, this could be a big problem. I could blow a tire. If anything goes wrong, I'm screwed. Oh, well, to the shop. Way better safe than sorry. One hundred kilometers northwest of Yellowknife. So I'm late. Crank's struggling to make up time after his detour to rescue Dale. There's no way I'm getting this load delivered quick. He's hot shotting a starter to a busy ice road maintenance crew in the village of Pachoco. It's kind of freaking snow squabbly. You can barely see. Shit. Like, where am I going? We'll put it four by four. Four wheel drive is essential on smaller roads that are covered in thick snow. Oh, what's going on with my four by four? What the f is going on here? My four by four is blinking, like it's not clicking in. Man, oh, let's see what's going on. Oh, this is where I need my boots. Oh. Woo. Well, I see a bunch of ice. I think the actuator on the diff is frozen solid. This sucks. Oh, my boots are cold. Ugh. This is freezing right now. OK. It says it's minus 30 something out. But the wind off this lake is like minus 60. You're like a sausage. <laughs> Ooh. Oh. Everything's a gigantic ice ball. My transfer case is just one chunk of ice. That's the piece that engages the floor by floor, I believe. Tap on some stuff and hopefully it'll click in. OK. Woo. Let's see. Blink, 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 blink. Get in? Oh, it went on, so that's good. Uh. There we go. Woo! Yeah. Holy crap. That is a lot of ice under there. This kind of weather will find the faults in your vehicle real quick. Woo! Now we can deliver the goods. Charlie operator. Hey, go for Charlie. I found your blue building. Where do you want me to put this starter? I'll bring it around back and uh, put it by my loader under the foot tire. OK. At the end of the day, I can get the job done no matter what. Boom. Easy peasy. Yeah, 1.8K. Late the next morning, but with her damaged tire replaced, Angela is racing toward Cranbrook, BC. After all that went down, I'm really behind. A network of distilleries in BC are working together to fight a shortage of hand sanitizer in hospitals and doctors' offices. I don't want to disappoint Dave because this is a very urgent and important job. Hi there. Hello. You must be Angela. I am. I've got your manifest right here. Thank you. Oh, that's the grocery list and a half. <laughs> Angela's deliveries will cover four towns in the eastern Kootenays before heading to our final stop in Nelson. Let's get you loaded up and on your way. Sounds good. So we have 17 different boxes Ugh. that are going out. Quite urgent that the ones in Nelson get delivered by 3 o'clock. Okay. Because that's the only time that they can get someone out to come and take it. We really appreciate it. Yeah, no problem. Hopefully my tailgate don't pop up now. I want to thank you very much for what you're doing. Yeah. If you weren't driving for us, we would have to stop production, and one of us would have to drive instead. Yeah. We are so thankful for yeah. you. Thank you so oh, much. It me cry a little bit. <laughs> Don't forget, Nelson, very, very important. By 3 o'clock, drive you. safe, be well. See you guys. There is a lot on this list. More drops than what I would have anticipated. I'm already a little bit behind, so I got to be on it. I really don't know how we're going to get this done today. Come on, good boy. Time to make some magic.
feel like a bachelor again. It's Dale's sixth night in his Yellowknife hotel room. My daily pills. As soon as I go out in the cold weather, I get quite a bit of pain in the back. His accident a few days ago has caused a flare-up of back pain. So there's two rods going down either side of the back. They're to straighten the curve up that was pinching my spinal cord in three places. If they wouldn't have done that, I wouldn't be walking. But the pain level's still quite high. Hey, sweetie. Hey, Coop. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm concerned they're going to close the provincial borders. That's your call. From what I'm seeing, I think you need to come home. Ah. We love you, and we want what's best for you. It was a long ways up here. It was a long ways up there. I really admire you going to try to help those communities out. However, at a certain point, we have to look after ourselves, too. Ah. OK, sweetie. I'll have to figure it out. I just want all of us to be safe. I love you. We love you too. Give daddy kisses. I love bye you guys. Bye-bye. Family's the most important thing. Makes me want to jump in the truck and go now. Is this delivery going to? On the outskirts of Yellowknife. Sure, remote. Dale's carrying groceries to families cut off from the regular supply chains by the pandemic. I really wish I could see the addresses on these places. Hello, Dale here. Well, I heard a little story this morning. Yeah, I hear you're having a bit of a tough go up north. Uh, that's true. Yeah, I know it's been hard on you and your family, especially little Cooper. Yeah. I'm sure his family's scared, his wife's scared, his son wants him home. Well, I don't blame him. You know, you are helping these people out, and they really appreciate what's going on, right? Yes. Don't want to let them down. We help out everybody. Thanks, Dale. No problem. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. If they close the borders, I'm screwed. Rumors are spreading that the provincial borders may soon close and Dale could be trapped in the Northwest Territories indefinitely. I'm really scared of that. But people are relying on me to help out in this situation. Is that it? Oh, that might be it. Hey, how's it going? I've got a delivery for you. Would you mind to pull that out? No problem, glad I was able to help. You too. Oh. This is crazy. I was in quite a bit of pain. I struggled through it. Dale's accident the other day aggravated his back. But I'm not going to quit. The community relies on people like us. Yes, uh, I've got a food hamper for you. Okay. Uh, I'll be there in like two minutes to drop it off. Oh, back's pretty sore, but I'm trying to make my way through this. Oh. <laughs> Hello. I've got some food here for you. Are you able to pack it up on your own? OK. Glad we could help. Oh. This is the work I love. That's why I'm here. But I'm feeling exhausted. I'm tired of being in this much pain. Have a good day. Back in BC, Angela has been rushing to deliver urgently needed hand sanitizer throughout the Kootenai region. Great success. End of. But after a late start to her day, Angela risks missing the deadline for her last stop at a medical clinic in Nelson, BC. The deadline in Nelson is 3 p.m. Now I gotta figure out what I'm gonna do because I, I'm screwed right now. It's a pandemic and the sanitizer has to get to where it needs to go. I really don't want to disappoint Dave, never mind the people that need it the most. Somehow I'm gonna have to make up some time here, see if I can get to Nelson in some record time. I'm gonna try a little side road. There's a lot of little mountain roads here that weren't open when there was heavy snow. 
But now that it's melted a little bit, I think I might have a few different options here. Here's the highway. That's where I may be. That looks dicey. On the back roads, you're pretty much reliant on your instincts and your map. But it looks a hell of a lot shorter. I will take that way. Angela's gambling that she can save a couple hours on her trip to Nelson with a mountain shortcut that should get her there with time to spare. This is what it's all about. Plan your route, pick your road, make an adventure out of it. <laughs> so highways were built to go around the mountain, and I bought this truck so I can go over top of them. Angela's shortcut has led her to a section of road with multiple down trees. <laughs> so I made the mistake of not taking a chainsaw with me. That was a big rookie move. <sighs> My shortcut just became a <laughs> cut. Now I gotta find another road. I might have to go all the way back to the highway unless I find something. I don't wanna let those people down. Meanwhile, in the Northwest Territories, foods in the hampers. Craig is making desperately needed deliveries to families in Yellowknife. In 600 meters, turn right on 57th Street. Well, it's definitely important to get these the stuff here before supper time, so they can eat it. I just have to find it. 124. But he's not used to driving in the city. We are way out of. Oh my God. In Southwest of Lake. It's definitely easier to uh, navigate on the ice road. You only have to go one spot, straight. In 300 meters, turn left on Forest Drive. And there's so many stop signs, man. DPS, it pisses me right off because it doesn't even tell you. I don't know what's its problem. It doesn't work and I don't like it. Oh my God. Okay, I don't know where it is. It's not showing up on the maps. Maybe it's way trying to deal with it. When I lose my temper, I know I have to get myself out of that situation before it gets out of hand. I think it's almost time to eat. This definitely looks like a good spot to pull over. Today I brought a sub for uh, lunch. Let me find the sub. Oh, yeah, there you go. You just wrap your stuff in tin foil. So that can, these can just uh, sit in my exhaust. And then you can just cook it on your engine. You want that hood to fall. <laughs> Not that safe. <laughs> Perfect. OK. Cooking time is uh, 140 mile an hour on the ice road and probably seven minutes. <laughs> Smell the cheese. Alrighty. <laughs> cheese, please. Oh yeah. Ow, ow. Hot. Okay. That's hot. It's hot on the skin. Okay. Whew. Oh yeah. Having a hot sandwich on the ice road's obviously killer. Look at that. This is a big guy supreme. Mmm. Uh -huh. That's a lot of meat. I think I overdid it. Said no one. <laughs> Recharging the batteries, filling the tanks. Woo! I should be able to go to the North Pole. I might need another sub, though, for the way back. All these people that are driving by wish they had a sub. But they don't. This is delicious. <laughs> hey, can hit her. Woo. With his belly refueled, 
I could probably go for a poop and a nap. Craig's back on track to deliver a load of groceries to a family quarantined at home. 505 is right there. Look at that. Easy peasy. <laughs> Feels good. Those people seem pretty happy that uh, they got their stuff in time for dinner. And the little kids in the window were pumped. Everyone seemed pretty pumped. Oh, I just passed Dale's truck. Dale, you got your ears on. Dale, can you hear me? We'll stop and see if he needs a hand. Dale's a tough little bugger. With all the surgeries, it's kind of crazy, the stuff that he does put himself through. Struggling? Oh, yeah. What do you got going on here? I got to take this one up to this lady's place. OK. Thanks, buddy. Trying to build up the good karma. Trying to balance it back out. There, I'll just sit right here for you. Have a good day. All right. Let's All get right, out of here. Get out of here. OK, buddy. Thanks, Craig. See ya. Woo! Good thing I stopped. I have a stacked bank account for karma. Bow, bow, bow. Something that I can carry easily. It's clearly a challenge for him to do it. That was a good thing Craig showed up and helped me with that last load. I think we're getting to be a little closer with my mishaps. Maybe he gives a shit at the end of the day. I don't know. Time is a ticket. In BC's Kootenai Mountains. I gotta find that road. See if this is the one. Angela's scrambling to find a new route after a fallen tree sabotaged her attempt at a shortcut. I've got three roads, and none of them are on the map. Which one? Oh. This network of logging roads leads to the highway to Nelson, where she faces a 3 p.m. deadline for her urgent hand sanitizer delivery. This is like the biggest decision of my day. On a hotshot job, you got to trust your judgment. And sometimes when you're out there, that's the only thing you've got. Left it is. Oh my, oh my. Well, we built this truck for a reason. It's clear just past the stretch. Come on. Oh no. I'm gonna try and go back a little bit. Then I'm gonna try and go ahead. I'm a big boy. Oh, yeah. With deep snow, you have to keep your momentum up. Come on. That means a lot of back and forth, back and forth. I go through there. There's no if, ands, or buts. No going around. Do what I say. So that you can kind of keep your truck floating on the snow. Come on. No, 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 no. The moment that you start digging and spinning, oh, you're going to bury yourself down into a hole. And you're Looks like we got ourselves into a show. If I get in trouble on a hot shot, nobody's coming to help me. I got me. I got two feet, a heartbeat, and a little bit of redneck intuition to get my ass through this Okay, then backs. Traction, traction. There. There. All right, good to go. Let's see if that does something. Come on, Woody. I know you got it in ya. Come on! You got this. Go, 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 go! F yeah! a boy! You're my good big boy. But well, now I'm really behind. I got about an hour to Nelson. Let's see if we can find that highway. Gotta push it a bit. Let's all windy, twisty, turny. Yeah! Oh, not good. Son of a bitch. I should have double checked my tailgate. Ah. Good job, Ange. Good job. As if this day can't get any fing worse. Luckily, none of them broke. Be. Earthquake test. Okay, let's go. Come on, boy. 
are gonna get through today? Put my foot in the kitchen, and the shifter in the penthouse, and let's go. Just need to find the highway again. Feels good at the end of the day, helping those people out. With his deliveries done and the borders still open, I'm on my way home. Dale's back on the Mackenzie Highway, heading south. Our little family's quite tight, and it's hard for us to be away from each other. But it always feels good when you're on that highway home. Oh, shit. Buffalo! You know, I was really hoping to see some wild animals, and this really makes my day. The roads have been great. Sunny blue sky. I'm headed home, and all the birds are chirping, and excited to be going home. Let's not jinx ourselves, but I think I might be out of the rough stuff. It's 2.30 p.m. in southern BC. Oh, oh, here we are. Looks like a main road. Angela is racing to find the highway to Nelson. I got my fingers crossed. Where she has a hard 3 p.m. delivery deadline. Yeah, there's the highway. <laughs> oh, my sweet heavenly pavement. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm kind of a payment princess after all. If I don't get this done in a timely fashion and I don't make the customers happy, it's going to get back to Dave. And guess what? I ain't going to have a little jobby no more. I'm going to put a fire under my ass. Balls to the wall like get it done. There it is. With only minutes to find her delivery point, Angela finally reaches Nelson. It is 2.49. I don't think I'm lost. I'm pretty sure the GPS is lost. It's telling me to go that way, but you know what I'm going to say to you? That. This is it. What's the address on there? Here? Yes. I am at my last spot. Yes. Doctors. Hi there. Great, thank you so much. The very Yeah, no problem. I made it! Yes! <laughs> Holy <laughs> am I happy? I made it on time. I never thought this was gonna happen. This is a good day. Hey voila, the day is done. I am elated. Time to hit the open road and highway again. Headed up to Grandma's to pick up my son. Back in his hometown of Barrier, BC. I can't wait to see Cooper. Dale is ready to reunite with his family. I bet you he can't wait to see me either. I wouldn't mind if Cooper followed in my footsteps, but maybe he'll get a good education and be a lawyer and bail daddy out of trouble all the time. Yeah, there's dad. <laughs> ah, there he is. Hey, buddy. He heard the truck when you were revving it up, and he knew right away that was you. <laughs> you excited to see Mommy? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we went up to the Northwest Territories to help out people, and I'm glad I was able to do it. But of course, for me, my favorite part of the job is when I get home. Ready, mate? Up, 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 up. Yay! Thanks, Harley. Oh, you're welcome, I Dale. I really appreciate it. Bye, Cooper. What sound does Dad's truck make? <laughs> because the rest of the deck is dirty, you might actually see a line here. Big Donnie! The next day at Donnie's shop. I want to cut this out here. Yeah, I'll do it. Why is that? Because I'm the pro. Dale's cutting his wheel wells to fit bigger tires. Let's get her done. I can't see the line. That's what I was afraid of. 
Well, Dale came back from up north, and he's done a pretty good job. Exceeded my expectations. Oh, fuck. Get that out of there. Ah, ah, At the end of the ah, day, that's our business. We help people. I'm getting scared. Oh, my God. What the f***? <laughs> Get a little what the f***? <laughs> that looks just fine, because you're going to put a rubber on it anyhow. No, your eyes are crooked. Oh, my eyes are crooked. I can't see it. Well, the f***? That, that looks like shit. You're getting over it. Look at that. <laughs> well, you should have had a client done better. Yeah. If you didn't I, like it, you should have told I me. Couldn't see. I couldn't see it. I'm going to tickle your ivories. Oh, Jesus. I'm pissed off at Donnie for sending me on this job. It's so dangerous. What a nightmare. I want to pick up a customer with a pickup. Maybe we need to buy a taxi. I might know something. What the? This is amazing. Bet you the first time you've ever seen red and blue lights and you haven't had to run. Yeah, no sh <laughs> I can feel the $100 bills flying out of my wallet as we speak. Oh, my god. Canada's remote interior is home to a different breed of trucker. Hot-shotting vital cargo to impossible locations. Keeping remote businesses running. Making their living on the back roads. Glad you answered your phone today. I got a job for you. What's that? Oh, this is just gonna tickle your ivories. I got an organ transplant job. You're scaring me, Donnie. In Barrier, BC, Big Donnie is sending lead driver Dale on a unique mission. Oh, there's your load. <laughs> wow, Jesus, Donnie. Money's money. It seems like the jobs Donnie keeps putting me on get weirder and weirder. Come on, this is your load. His cargo, an 800-pound upright piano. Oh, lovely. You gotta make sure this gets there in good order. It can't be out of tune. <laughs> okay. So you have to be extra careful with this thing. So whereabouts am I headed? Well, uh, you're gonna be going over the mountain up here. Sean will be guiding you. Come on, back up! Good! The piano is a family heirloom. It's gonna go this way a little bit, Dale. Its new owner wants her inheritance safely transported to her remote home where she lives off the grid. This thing's going to a wealthy client with deep pockets. He better get it there in one piece and in tune. Have a good trip. <laughs> this is going to be an adventure. Dale will meet his guide, Sean, near the Barrier River, then begin his trek towards Cat Peak across 180 kilometers of rough mountain terrain. The fact that Big Donnie's hired a guide really tells me something about the road. Makes me a little nervous. Looks like we're here. Hey, Sean. Hey, Dale. Good to meet you. Sean Walford is a local off-road enthusiast. The piano's going to a remote location. I don't know the area, but Sean does. So we can take these down to 20 PSI, you said? Yeah. Before they head into the backcountry, Dale removes his dualies so he can lower the pressure on the inner tires for more traction. Woo. We got some steep climbs, so it's got to be pretty solid up there. OK. Otherwise, we're going to lose this thing. Hey, Dale, you ready to roll? Let's go. Weather's pretty darn wet. If I was a duck, I'd be pretty happy. I better turn around, I missed a bump. 90 kilometers away, outside Kamloops, BC, Dave and his daughter Alyssa are on a job of their own. With this new client, you know what? This could be very profitable. I just wish we didn't have to drive all these back roads. All I know is I need to make sure this gets there on time. 
They're making a Saturday delivery to a new client, a local mine that needs machine parts by Monday. I need to show the client that I'm capable of doing this job because a word of praise goes around to four people. A bad word will go out like wildfire. The truck's acting funny. Can you hear that tick? These roads don't help your truck situation. I know, but money does. There it is again. What's going on? Roll on. In the middle of nowhere. Let's take a look. There's something leaking out back there. Holy there's oil all over everything. Oh my god. It's just pouring out of here. I see what's going on though. It's the oil feed line off the back of the engine to the gauge. The copper lines crack. Oh, me. If I don't make this delivery, I don't get paid. And on top of that, if I have a breakdown to fix, it's gonna cost me money. Um, I'll kink the line. Hopefully it'll seal enough to get home. The oil pressure gauge is attached to the engine by a thin copper line. Pinching the line stops the flow of oil to the damaged section. Let's just go. But to find a permanent fix, Dave has to put the job on hold and turn around. Just got this truck on the road. I'm already having problems with it, and I'm hoping there's nothing seriously wrong with it. An hour later, Dave's managed to limp home to White Lake, BC. All right, I'm gonna open this thing up. Watching dad run his own business has been painful because my dad is probably one of the most hardworking guys I've ever met. But he's stressed out all the time. It's really hard on him. What's wrong with it? I don't know, I'm just checking the oil you. Yeah, look at that, Les. It's just it's all silver, and I don't know if you can see all the flakes in there, but that's not good. So what does that mean? Inside the engine, there's bearings. Well, that's come apart. So it's chewed into the crank, and so it's got metal and shit into the oil. That means it's done. The engine is ruined and must be replaced. This is Saturday. If I don't get this part delivered by Monday, I can kiss this client goodbye, and that could be the end of me. So what are you gonna do? If I can get an engine cheap enough, I'll swap it and carry on. But if I don't, I'm done. It's back to strictly salvage. There's no hot shotting anymore. Hey, Don. What's going on? Oh, not much. How about you? Back in Barrier. Going to pick up a customer with the pickup. Why is that? Because there's no taxis, and we can't take them in the tow truck. It's a, no taxi. They're not running. Nope. The ongoing COVID-19 pandemic means tow operators and customers can't ride in the same truck cab. We're going to have to do something, because this this is ridiculous. This COVID is going to be here for a while. Yeah. And we can't just leave people out in the middle of the road out here. You know, it's not like we're major center. We're in the middle of friggin' nowhere. Yeah. It's a pretty small community. COVID has everybody keeping their distance, and we're going to do our best to help. Now, we can't take them in the tow truck. That's too close. Yeah. Maybe we need to buy a taxi or maybe something with a bit of distance. I might know something. I got to go see if it's still for sale. Don't spend too much money. I'll try not to. I could feel the $100 bills flying out of my wallet as we speak. Step on it now. In the foothills of the Columbia Mountains. Oh! This is pretty rough. Oh. Oh. The piano is still good? She's bouncing pretty good. Dale and his guide, Sean, have four hours to deliver the piano to its backwoods destination before the sun goes down. Get a bit rocky here, so just follow me close. What the hell is this? All right, Dale, we're coming up to the river here. Sure, in the hell, I hope we're not going across here. Water is pretty high. Looks like there's not a bridge here anymore, it's been washed out. The water levels get crazy high here in the winter. Cool. I want you to follow me. Exactly the line I take. Are you serious? Well, we got no choice. We're gonna have to cross the river. This river is wide, fast moving, and I don't know how deep it is, but I'm just gonna give her and hope for the best. All right, Dale. Do not hit it too fast. 10 4. I've crossed a lot of rivers, but never with a piano on my truck. It's important not to go too fast, but I've got all that weight on the back. So 
I can't go too slow either. What happened? You okay? The motor just died. If I don't make the delivery on time, Big Donnie will string me up with piano wire. This piano thing has become a bigger deal. On the Cochrane River, Dale's truck has stalled. My truck is not really equipped to cross a river like this. I have a lift kit, but I don't have a snorkel like Sean's does. Stay put, I'm gonna pull you back out. Is the piano wet? Uh, don't worry about that right now. What a nightmare. Maybe Donnie knew how bad this was. I'm pissed off at Donnie for sending me on this job. It's so dangerous. I'm not prepared for this. OK, I'll get in the truck and steer. All right, you in neutral? Yep. Someone could get hurt. I could lose my load. If I was in charge, we'd do things differently. Let's check her out here. Looks like you might have just got a tiny bit of water in the air filter here. Let's say we give her a start, see if it goes. Try it again. This time, not so hard going into the water, OK? there, buddy. Let's get this. What the? F this is amazing. And Salmon Arm. I knew you'd like it. Holy, that is awesome. Junior's enlisted Craig to help him pick up a vehicle for ferrying tow customers during the pandemic. Check this out. Needs a little TLC on the inside. It stinks in here, man. Well, it's been sitting a while. Probably smells like bad decisions. <laughs> Bet. Junior bought the limo from a chauffeur who recently retired. Does this thing even run or what? <laughs> oh, she run. Bump it. Let's hit the road. Where do I have to sit? In the back. What? How about I drive and you sit in the back? No. <laughs> Bet you the first time you've ever seen red and blue lights and you haven't <laughs> had to run. Yeah. No <laughs> Let's do this. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> they ain't ripped, man. <laughs> Redneck Deluxe. <laughs> Junior, I'm hungry. What? I'm hungry. Dude, everything's closed. You got to go through the drive-thru. Test your skills on your driver abilities. What a dick. This is going to be <laughs> Oh, dude. No way we're going to make that corner. <laughs> I feel like it might be a little too wide. Holy crap. This is going to get weird. A little bit. Yeah, can, get you. can I get a buffalo crispy chicken wrap? Hold on. I'll take the same thing. <laughs> OK, perfect. <laughs> Don't scuff the damn wheels. Trying not to. You think it's gonna have the right motor? It's an S1850, isn't it? Near Blind Bay, Dave's got a line on a truck for sale that has the engine he needs for his hotshot truck. I don't have a lot of time for this thing to get running. I got two days the race is on, and I'm not sure if I'm going to make it. He's asked Angela and his son Tristan to help him check it out. George! How are you? Good, sir. That's quite the old beast, eh? Oh, yeah. 
Yeah, that's like early 70s. Where did you find this? It was used as the uh, water truck for the Shushwap Fire Department for years. No kidding, eh? Anyways, so it's got a bit of history behind it. It does, yeah. Let's see what we got under the hood here. Well, look at that little girl. You think it's going to fit, though? No? It's quite long. I think it might be longer. What are you trying to put this into? Like a 1980, 82 Crew Cab International. Oh, yeah. How many K did you figure were on this thing? Not very many. So we found the exact engine I've been looking for, but I've got quite a bit of money tied up in my truck. Hopefully, I can get a good deal from this guy so I can stay afloat and get trucking. What are you looking to get out of this bad boy? I'd like to get 5,500, bud. Not 550? <laughs> um, it's a rebuilt engine. Yeah. I'd like to be at the fifteen dollars to $2,000 mark. Can you work at that? For you, I could do uh, 3500 bucks because I want it gone. But I get to keep that. You keep the rotator? <laughs> yeah. I could pull 25 out of my hat, but I can't pull three. Done. Done deal? Done. We'll do the air shake yeah, on this shake. one. Air <laughs> shake on this one. Yeah. I think I got a good deal, but I'm not out of the woods until that engine is in the truck and that delivery is made. Time to put a horseshoe in my shorts. Hello. Uh, if you come outside in about a minute and a half, you'll see me. In barrier. Oh, lordy, lordy, lordy. Junior and Craig are heading back to the garage with the newest vehicle in the fleet. Oh, that was close. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> what in the hell? Oh, my god. You got to be freaking kidding me. <laughs> you wanted a taxi. And it's four-wheel drive. I like that. I think that's one of the best things you ever bought. Yeah. That's pretty freaking cool. Tighter? That was all good. At Dave's house, he and Angela are respooling the winch line to tow home his new water truck. Hmm. Well, that's no good, eh? Is that the whole thing moving? Yeah, I gotta get it off. But now his winch is seized. The free spool lines from not using this side for years is seized up. It's hard to keep up with the best equipment. I don't. I run older equipment. It's tougher to do that. This winch is too. I don't even know what to do here. Looks like the sadness has hit you. So it's not one thing, it's another. We blew an engine in the truck. Like, what the f can go wrong next? I don't want to do this anymore. I just don't have the money to go buy more winches. I just don't. And now I got to go to used winches. And we only know one guy in this area that has used winches. And guess who it is? Mm, Big, Big Donnie. Donnie. What do you figure, Dave? I know he's going to try and put me over the barrel. And I can't afford it right now. I just can't. In Barrier, BC, Dave is desperate for a part to fix his winch and has no choice but to try and get it from one of his biggest competitors. Ah, oh, Mr. Smart. Angela. How are you? Not bad. Those uh, winches I called you about. Mm -hmm. I can't find a f part. Nothing. Yeah. Nothing. Donnie's got me. He's got me good. I'm thinking that being kicked in the cojones might be a better feeling. Whatever just happened, happened because your winch lines were binding in there. Anything's possible. I'm not mm -hmm. going to deny it. No, you can't deny it. So what let go on your winch? The key stock broke. Yeah, go see what you can find. All right. To stay king of the kingdom, keep your friends close and keep your competitors even closer. Oh, right there. Right there, upside down. Winch still on there? Yeah. In Big Donnie's Boneyard. That's exactly what I'm after. OK, if you got a chain, I'll go grab the forklift. All right, buddy. Junior's tracked down a deck from an old tow truck with the part Dave needs. Let's go right forward. Holy Don't get your hand caught in there. That one's got grease. That's what happens when you maintain things. You put there's grease in them. Oh, this is not a situation I'm enjoying whatsoever. It's a hit to my ego, and Donnie knows it. You're a lifesaver, Donnie. You're up and rolling, just rock and roll, dude. Dave Swant, 
doesn't stand a chance against me. Not a hope. He can try, but he won't make it. Thanks, guys. No problem. Thanks, little Donnie. Bye, guys. You, you betcha, brother. Get the box truck. Hopefully the engine's good. Yeah. First time for everything, I guess. A few hours later, Dave's fixed his winch and is heading back to the snowy hills of Blind Bay to pick up the water truck. There we are. He's a beast. Let's see if this box fires up. I hope you've got a shovel. What are you doing in this? He's recruited his daughter Alyssa to help him and Angela. Those are CSA approved Jesus boots you got. <laughs> what do you plan on watching me do this? Or are you no, actually going to participate? I have boots. So let's get them on and let's do your job. And clear that battery out of there. Yeah. There's some snow in that hole. Clear that all out of there. Ah. I want you to jump in the cab of the truck. If I can get this beast back home today, I can have a fighting chance to get the engine back in it and have this hot shot package delivered by Monday. Go down on the clutch, hard, hard. Oh my God. Sir. <laughs> Holy <laughs> balls. This thing hurts. It's been sitting for how many years? Runs better than the other engine you had. I'm gonna actually drive this thing out of here. Come on, baby. Looks like we have to use a tow truck. Well, shit. the engine's a runner. Runs like a top, but the thing's cratered in and buried in the snow. Dave hooks up his winch line to pull the water truck free. They don't forget, ever. Iron never forgets, just like a woman. Go forward, quick! Keep spinning, keep spinning. Come on, you slot! Ah! Woo! <laughs> Hi, girl. Yeah. But we got it out. It's a good day! That a girl, good job! Let's keep it in first! There is no time to celebrate. We gotta get this thing home so I can pull the engine and get it into my hotshot truck. Fifty kilometers from Cat Peak, Dale's river crossing is behind him, but he isn't out of the woods yet. Oh, Jesus. A piano bounce there. The melting snowpack, combined with heavy rains, has made the steep mountain pass treacherous. Hey Dale, we got a washout on the road here. It's looking pretty tight. Oh, dear God. Just take it real slow, follow me. Feels like I'm shifting. Take it nice and slow. The scary thing about a washout is you never know where or when the next part of the road will give out. I don't like this. Holy sh that's bad. Holy crap. Nice job. We're gonna be doing some rocky climbing here, so you may want to switch to Fort Low. Gonna scratch my piano. Just uh, try and stay in the middle of the road. Get out of here! Bit of a cross stitch here, so probably want to take it slow. Oh, sh I don't know if I'm getting under that. Go a bit uh, faster. Okay, let me get there. Take it slow. Totally fine. That was pretty tight. Big Donnie made the right call in getting a guide. I could not do this alone. This is rough. This road, it's pretty hard on the truck, so 
we had to let air out of the tires, and it handles a lot different. Whoa. With reduced tire pressure, Dale's truck has better traction, but it's harder to control. I'm having a tough time steering. It's hard navigating this road with the steering wheel spinning out of my hands. Ow! There's no way you can hold this wheel. It'll snap your arms. Ow, 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 ow. Near Cat Peak, Dale has crashed into a rock wall while trying to deliver a piano to a remote mountaintop home. Oh. You okay? Oh. It feels like my wrist is broken. I don't know if the truck is broken. What's going on? I hit this rock here. Did we hit that bank over there? That rock just blew the wheel right out of my hand. My wrist is just aching. Oh, <laughs> It ripped the mud flap off. Ow. Dale removes the damaged mud flap so the screws don't puncture his tires. I got lucky. It could have been much worse. His wrist is sore, but not broken. With just a couple hours of daylight left, Dale has no choice but to get back on the road. All right, we're gonna have to push it a little bit if we're gonna get this piano there on time. Okay, Dale, the road's opening up ahead here. You're pretty much home free. Thank God. This trip has just about done me in. Best of luck with the piano, and it's been a pleasure working with you. Dale can navigate the rest of the world.